Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt, also known as Doggeth, with aim to game and today I'm going to show you how to install Spigot from scratch, uh, starting out with, as you can see here on my game panel, a completely empty game server, uh, and we will go ahead and get that going. We're not going to use the mod manager, because it's one of those ones that changes a bunch, so I wanted to kind of empower you guys to be able to do this yourself. Now, if it's too hard, you can't do it, uh, by all means, throw us a ticket, support at aimtogame.com or aimtogame.com in the upper right hand corner, billing and support, and we have no problem doing this for you at all. So there's two things you're going to need. One thing's, or the first thing's first, you're going to want to go to Spigot's website, go to downloads, and then uh, download the build tools. And then you're also going to need Git for Windows. I'm going to be using uh, Windows, so uh, we will roll with that. And if you guys need uh, another uh, method like Mac or Linux, just let me know. I have no problem doing those videos for you and at least explaining the, uh, the the way to do it. So what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and first things first, install Git for Windows. Just say yes. Next, 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 and then uh, then yes. So I already have this installed. So it's, it's already running and stuff like that. So just default through it. It'll install it, and then you will be good to go. So first things first, we need to go ahead and we need to open up Git. Now, something I need to remember is that you have to have Java installed to be able to do this. Uh, you run Minecraft, so chances are you're good to go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up Git Bash. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to... Are we there? Yeah, we're there. And then uh, Spigot is where I'm at. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, do Java and then minus jar which is saying this is the jar file I want to use and it's going to be build tools jar. So you go to wherever your jar file is and then you just run it. So what this is going to do it's going to download a bunch of stuff from github or wherever it's it's git repository which a git repository is just you know a location that houses code and it's going to take that code and it's going to build it and it's going to give us various uh, ver various jar files that we can use on our server one of them being a spigot jar so I'm going to go ahead and let it do this thing and when it's done we'll go ahead and take our next steps alright so when all is said and done it's going to pop up right here where it's says it's done pretty much success is at the top there and what you're going to want to do is you're going to go into that same folder where you had downloaded your build tools jar and ran it and you're going to find a spigot folder and then you're going to have a spigot server folder and then inside there a target folder and then you're going to see the snapshot jar so i'm going to go ahead and just uh i'm just going to rename this i mean you can name it to whatever you want i'm going to say uh spigot 1.8 and we're going to take this path, make sure you save that up here, just copy, paste, or copy it. And then you're going to go to your game server, control panel, and then you're going to go to that path. And then just upload that jar file that was just compiled. Now while this is doing this, let me just uh, pretty much summarize what just happened. So I went to, uh, I went to, to my to my git, my git bash, which you get to by going, let's just do it this way, git bash, and then you uh, pretty much use the cd command to move around. So can you, yeah, you can go cd, uh, so I download it to c users dogeth downloads, no I didn't, users, cd dogeth cd Downloads, CD, Spigot, CD, or ah, I keep trying to do, what is it? E I don't know. So it's in here. I know it's in there. So then what you do is you do the Java dash jar Spigot or uh, build tools dot jar, hit enter, and then it'll do the compilation for you. So now we have Spigot.jar is uploaded. 
we're going to just take the name of the jar file. We're going to uh, we're going to go to our command line manager, custom command lines, new. We're going to say spigot. You shouldn't have to increase your perm gen here. And then we're just going to check the box next to custom jar file. Put that name in there. Save it. Select that command line. Go back to our main page and hit start. Got to do what you normally do when you have a new server is you've got a server.properties and you also have there your EULA. Go ahead and go to your EULA. Uh, you've got to set it to true as long as you agree to their end user license agreement and then go to server.properties. In your server IP go 20427 Put your IP address in there. Make sure your port matches what your port is. Save it. Go back. Restart. And if we open our console, when it's done restarting, we will see that it's stopping, starting, and now Spigot's running. And if we look in our file manager, we have our plugins folder where we can dump all of our plugins. Now if you have any trouble along the way, spigotmc.org slash wiki slash build tools slash you know, slash build tools will get you there. Uh, they have a great troubleshooting and help issues and comments concerns, stuff that people have ran into multiple times that they can help you with. Pretty much what I just walked you through is just a retelling of this. I've done it a hundred times, so I just kind of wanted to show it off. It's not hard. The hardest part is probably installing Git and getting to wherever you download the build tools. Other than that, you're going to be golden. It's wicked easy. If you guys need any help at all, support at aimtogame.com. Aimtogame.com, the upper right-hand corner. Click billing and support. We're here 24 hours a day to assist you. If you guys don't feel confident installing this yourself, by all means, let us know, and we don't have a problem doing that for you. So until next time, guys, my name's Matt, a.k.a. Doggeth, and enjoy.